Thanks, Megan. Turning to New York City, where emotions are high after two police officers were shot and killed in their patrol cars over the weekend. The deaths of Michael Brown in Ferguson and Eric Garner in New York are believed to be the motive for those shootings. A memorial has grown outside of NYPD in honor of the two officers as people gather not to protest but to mourn their loss. The families are joining New York City officials in calling for calm. A former New York City police officer now living here in northeast Wisconsin is following that situation closely. Rich Lang and talk with NBC 26's Eric Kress about the latest developments. The badges that Rich Langen keeps as mementos look great on his wall, but his memories. I helped a lot of people. Tell a better story. Well, my brother was in law enforcement and I wanted to follow in his footsteps. His career began 30 years ago on the fringe of the Bronx, a dangerous job but rewarding. You never know what you're going to run into. It's the best job in the world because Maybe I can't help everybody, but I can help a few people. After hearing about the two New York City cops gunned down while sitting in their patrol car. Doing something stupid is not going to help your cause. It's just going to say, oh, look at those darn protesters are out there rolling over cars or lighting fires. Memories of his career in New York were overshadowed by the national spotlight and protests regarding racial discrimination. Get the sympathy of the public, okay? Get your point across so that something positive will come out of it. Because as a former New York cop and the father of an African-American man, Langen knows discrimination is present. Unfortunately, driving black in a white neighborhood, immediate attention. And as he puts it, peaceful, lawful protests are one of the only real ways for any substantial changes to be made. Now, Langan spent the last 20 years of his career serving with Ashwaubenon Public Safety.